You talk about people luck run out. Well, them are two brother luck run out. Because them gone all the way to Costa Rica. If you can't do them business. And guess what happened? Them get caught. So these are two Jamaican nationals. And they plead guilty to running fake sweepstakes scamming the elderly out of millions. The Department of Justice, not these guys in Costa Rica. Jamaica get too crowded for this scamming business. So guess what? These guys decide, say, boy, they might go to Costa Rica. Because, you know, them fees are them safer because in Jamaica, people don't talk because everyone want a piece of the pie. But they don't want to give you them pie even though people not talk. Well, when them gone, they run out of luck because guess what? You see like how they not come from Jamaica and them are not Jamaican. Them people, they will talk upon them. And they might feel so them safe, but guess what? If them did see if they wouldn't get caught. If people did have watched them back, they wouldn't get caught. So the two Jamaican men, they pleaded guilty on Thursday for sweepstake fraud. Maurice Levy and Derek Levy, 51 and 54, they committed sweepstake scams across the United States, preying on the elderly and easy confused victims says the federal prosecutors the two men set up a call center look how them bright they set up a call center and them get US era code phone numbers the men says they admit that they call the elderly and the vulnerable in US and then tell them that they will sweep stake and ask them that they pay a prize money before them get the, the, the prize. And then, when them get the money from these people, them call them back and tell them, say, them never know, say, it was more money. And then they have to pay more money again, pan tap away, then get them already. You know, and it's these people, a lot of them are confused. You know, some of them are having, you know, getting dementia or Alzheimer's. And this money where them I take from them, maybe it's me money that them using for people to take care of them, that them taking away from these elderly people. So, it almost $10 million them collect over the period of eight years. Them have an office and a call center and them hire people to do them dirty work so them a run a business like it was a legit business which was it a legit business and now them get caught thank good So guys, thank you for watching my video. Please do remember to like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Guys, I am trying to get to 1000 subscription and only you can help me do so. So do so right now.